All right, Shalom. What's up? I want to give it all praise, all the glory to you. How about Shibri Hasha? All right, Shibri Kakodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the Akimah to push in the word of sincerity and in truth. Yeah, this lesson is just going to go into um, from uh, crawling uh, to walking. You know, um, and of course, you know, when you're in the uh, crawling stages, you know, you're, you're a babe. You know, but that's, uh, that's all right, you know, because at the end of the day, when you you know you first come into the truth of Yah about Shimei Hasha, you start off, uh, you know, not having the realization of the um, the understanding of the the Bible, not being uh, familiar with the law, not being familiar with uh, the the many um, prophecies, and uh, you know character, you know development things that's uh, located in the scriptures, you know. So you um you're very underdeveloped, and um you know you start off. As a youth, and it's always about it, taking um, heed and adhering to the words of Yahweh about Shemir Al Shah and the brothers around you, so that you could grow and develop properly. You know, not trying to, um, you know, be fresh out the womb and uh, jump into the meat of things. You know, your your first initial reaction when coming to the knowledge is understanding who you are. You know, as a, as an Israelite, understanding um, that's why that's why it's important uh, when you come out to the highways and byways to you know take notes and listen and learn. You know, to uh, actually take the beginning steps of your growth uh, seriously. You know, but I was saying, um, you know, learning uh, your Israelite, um, understanding the basics pertaining to the law. Um, you know the. Uh, the doctrine basics, you know, the, as far as the chariots, America being destroyed, understanding how to break down America and biblical prophecy, so on and so forth. And then you start to advance and grow to um, a more um, complex level, so to speak. But it's important to get those basics down so that, um, you know, when you are in the development phases of the uh, complexities of the scriptures, you will have those uh, fundamentals. You know, and when you look at the word, uh, actually, um, elementary, you know, it uh, goes into basically having the basic uh, elements down. You know, and it says um, basically fire, water, um, earth, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, air. You know, it said basically having those uh, proper elements basically um, within you so that you will actually uh, be built up properly. You know, and the scriptures speak about, you know, the, fi the scriptures is known as fire. You know, it's, it's, it's known as um, we're going to speak about how the most high is a uh, continual fire. It's known as the uh, living waters. All right, it's, it's known as earth, as it is written in Colossians to be rooted and built up in them, and established in the faith in the earth. You know, and it's also known as uh, wind. You know, air. The scriptures say that the, that the spirit is is like the wind. So, it's important to have those elements, all those proper elements, uh, culminating within yourself and spiraling and circulating. So that you will be uh, properly built up. All right. So First Peter two and two, as newborns, babes desire the sincere milk of the word, that they, that ye may grow thereby. Right. Now the fact, and I'll start at one. Wherefore lay aside all malice and all guile and hypocrisies and envies and evil speakings. Right. And those represent characteristics of the old man. When you were an old man. Excuse me. You will live after the, the, in the spirit of malice and the spirit of guile and wickedness, hypocrisy, which is, um, you know, basically a uh, farce living off this in the spirit of a farce, uh, um, a fraud. And it says in envies, you know, the spirit of jealousy and evil speaking is just speaking, um, you know, ill towards, um, you know, your, your brethren and things of that nature. So, um, Peter is speaking about, you know, as you, um, are, are becoming a newborn baby in this faith you know to take those those uh negative attributes without out of yourself so that you could grow up um in uh in righteousness all right verse two as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that they may grow thereby if so be ye have tasted that the lord is gracious to whom coming as unto a living stone disallowed indeed of men but chosen of the most high and precious right and that individual is Yahweh shot, you know. So that's why it's, it's always important too, when you come into the truth, to understand who you are committing yourself unto. Because 
Yeah, was shy. You know, he um he had a lot of spiritual uh enthusiasm and spiritual wisdom that he expounded unto uh choice men so that they would be grown up and uh developed in the spirit of the most high property. And that's what made the disciples uh become po apostles. You know, that's what um redeemed the nation, the uh, words of Yahweh Shah. All right? Through his personal letters, uh through uh certain men witnessing Matthew, Mark, Luke and John and also the um the whole developed role, the whole entire role, all right? And that's why the Lord commanded uh certain disciples and men of the Lord to actually consume the whole word meaning to digest and gather the whole understanding of these scriptures before they would go out and teach the nation before they would go out and judge amongst the people so that they would be built up properly understand mercy understand um you know the uh restrictions understand um you know faith understand the spirituality behind any any and every action that they will actually partake in all right because they would be built up from what reading this word they would be uh drinking the word lapping from the uh, living waters and and these living waters actually you know strengthen you and they help you uh grow all right so it says ye also are lively stones are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer a spiritual sacrifice accepted to the most high by your house shot right and, and we're living in this spiritual house and the first thing to do when you're building a a, a house is to to put up that cornerstone man that cornerstone representing your house shot all right which is tell you that in the uh the next verse and then you know you have to continuously build uh day by day you know brick by brick you know laying out the foundational work making sure that uh everything is is properly measured everything is properly scaled um and as you're building you're, you're also after the building is is erected and established you still have simultaneously uh you still simultaneously have to do the maintenance work always have to do maintenance work because it tells you in ecclesiastes that um through idleness of the hands the house dropping through and everything takes maintenance from your car to your house to your uh, spirit man so continuing on wherefore it is contained in the scriptures behold i lay in zion a chief cornerstone elect precious and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded and that chief um in zion that chief cornerstone is your shot all right he's he was known as the elect and precious and if you believe on him and how do you believe on him you have faith in his words you read the words you you um retain the words and you act according to the words that the lord um told us to uh follow and that's when you start to see results and that's why faith as a as a newcomer in this truth is one of the most important elements to uh actually you know get your hands in onto so to speak of course it tells you in uh, hebrews 11 chapter faith is the evidence of things uh not seen you know it's because it's uh it's all about uh raw belief you know it's not tangible faith is the evidence of things hoped for you know not that you know that basically not the elements evidence of things not seen so continuing on and of course it uh also tells you in peter's you know to add on your faith you know your knowledge you know add to your faith you know your faith uh you know a diligence you know brotherly kindness godliness and and, and you keep building up and that's how the um the walls and the, the established building starts to to be built up uh by and by which is your your house your, your spirit so when the spiritual demon satan comes to uh try to break down those walls through um you know through the spirit of envy through the spirit of jealousy hatred going back to verse one you'll be properly uh structured to uh overcome all right unto you therefore which believe he is precious but unto them which be disobedient the stone which the build builders disallow the same is made the head of the corner right and this thing doesn't have anything to do with um you know how how um basically how long you've been teaching like you have a, a lot of old testament guys that's been teaching for a number of years but they don't believe in you how it's shot it first starts with you how it's shot and and after a number of years that's when your your um your spiritual recognition so to speak starts to uh be laid up in the heavens you know 
Because you have a lot of men that's been around for decades that uh, don't teach Yahweh Shah, that don't teach the truth of the prophecies, and don't believe in the New Testament, and they disallow the uh, the chief cornerstone, you know. So you know you the the, the main importance. The importance of the building has to have that that uh, particular part for you to build on top of. If not, like the scripture says in Psalms, that um, you know, if if it's not uh, built upon a the Lord, then it's uh, is is vain vain labor. The ones that actually are building. So you know, uh, this is just something I had for argument. Just wanted to go into, you know, just to you know keep and continue in the faith, continue to build in the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahushua. Pray, of course, fast. Um, build up your knowledge You know Always um, Go to the Lord And depend on him For spiritual strength Especially you know you, you new brothers And you'll see the development And the growth of your Your spiritual character By and by So I'm going to end it by